Hi guys, welcome to uh, Robin Hood Shaving Artisans. I'm going to get right down to it. I'm going to uh, uh, use a Prazo shaving cream today. The last, on one of the last shaves, what I use is a Prazo green or the mentholated. And this has got uh, uh, eucalyptus and menthol in it. Okay, and it's got a strong menthol. So if you don't like a lot of menthol, this would be great to use. It's a, as far as a shaving cream, it, it's, it's wonderful. Okay, today I'm going to use this here, the red one. That has got uh, sandalwood, oh, I love sandalwood, and O'Shea butter. So we're going to see what the difference is. So I'm, I've taken some of it out. This is what the, the tube looks like, right there. Like that. Got it? Okay. And I put some of it in my little uh, shaving bowl, my lathering bowl. And um, the brush I'm going to use will be the Frank Shaving. It's a uh, Badger brush. I've had that soaking for a few minutes. Let me dump that out and get some more hot water in it. As you can see, I haven't uh, shaved for uh, for a bit. I've been on surveillance for the last three night, three days, and I uh, haven't spent any time here at home at all. So I thought it was time uh, to, to give it a shave. But I'm going to use the Game Changer by Razor Rock. You like the handle on that? Look at the head on that. Well, that's because I took it off. Okay. But it's a heavy razor. And what I want to point out on this, and I haven't pointed out before, the razor blade was, is going to be a King C. Gillette. It will be the third use I've used on this. I believe I used the second use of this blade on the other shaving cream by Prazo, the mentholated. So I had one comment in my uh, videos where the guy said, uh, somebody said, I don't remember who it was, I could look it up. But he said, usually on the uh, third shave, they dull pretty quick. So we're going to see. I liked it. I mean, I was... Uh, very satisfied with this blade. It was very smooth, at least on the first and second shave. Let's see how we do we do on the third. So we're going to test it out. One thing I really want to point out is this uh, particular razor is a machine laser, CNC machined, and I think it's 316 stainless steel. But it is so tight when you, I'm going to show you what I mean. When you put a razor blade in, the tolerances I think are two thousandths of an inch. It's got to be smaller than that. But when you put a razor blade in, it's really hard to get them out. What that means is not a negative thing. It's actually nice because you know that that blade is not going to move. Uh, the razor blade is not going to move when it's in the razor. I'm just going to crank her down. There you got it. There's no overhang on this razor at all. I really like this razor. It'll last you a lifetime. Evidently, they glass beat it. It's not a super chrome look. But uh, if you want that, you could. But they say the reason they don't is they can maintain the tolerances on it when they actually create the razor. Each one has got a serial number on the back. Mine is 6C68-P. That's not the serial number, that's the model number. It's a 68 uh, gap on here. And uh, they have some other ones too. My serial number, oh my goodness, is uh, uh, 5729, like, like you really care, right? But anyway, I'm going to show you the... See if you can see that. I don't know. We're going to hold it like this. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. But trust me, it's there. All right. I'm going to uh, wash the face down. Like I said, I already put some in here. We're going to mix up stuff. It's called a shaving soap, a shaving cream up, and uh, we'll see how we do. I'm not going to use any uh, pre-shave today. I didn't use it before, and it's not fair to use it on this one. So... I just want to compare the two shaving lathers that I had here from Perrazzo. The first one I really liked. I want to thank all you guys that have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. I have close to 100 videos now up, and I was making, oh, two or three of them a week, and I've been so busy, I just haven't had the time. I've got a whole bunch of uh, Take Two videos I want to create on on these products and brushes and what have you. Let's see how we do with this. We're going to mix this up. Boy, we had it rain today. Holy smoly. Uh, really windy and rainy. A big thunderstorm came up from the southwest. That's usually where they come from. Could have taken a little bit more water out of the the lather or the, out of the brush rather. I can I'm looking at it, I can see the bubble. It really has a nice smell to it. It's not overbearing. 
You know, first comes uh, how, when I look at a shaving cream or soap, how does it shave? Then the last thing I think on it is a container that comes in, and in between there is, uh, what's it smell like? But the primary object of it is to, to help you uh, shave. How slippery is it? This is a very thick soap. Let's, okay, we're right there. Looks pretty good. I want to say hi to Kevy Shaves, Paul, and my other buddy out in Sandy, I think it's San Diego, Ken Shaves. I don't know if they're buddies or not, but I watch them a lot, and I make a lot of comments on our site, and boy, I'm just getting more on my shirt. Oh, well, what the heck. <laughs> I'm going to get it all over anyway. I really want to work this in. I, a little story I got to tell you. Oh, about two months ago, I was coming in, driving up north from Chicago, and I was a bad boy. I didn't pull over in the middle lane when the cops were on the left lane cuffing somebody because of DUI. I tried to get over, but there was a car to my right, so you see, it'd be to your left if, never mind, you're in Britain, it's totally opposite, but anyway. I go through the intersection and the lights go on behind me. I said, oh boy, I know exactly what happened. They have a law in Illinois here, maybe throughout the country, that if you don't pull over for a squad car or a public worker or something like that, they can give you a ticket. And it's usually around $250 to $300. So I pull over and a cop walks up and I said, I screwed up, huh? And he said, yeah. <laughs> so, and then... He said, you know what you did wrong? I said, yeah, I tried. I said, I tried to pull over. He said, yeah, but you couldn't. I was right behind you because you were speeding too fast. I said, I'm pulling you over for speeding. But did you hear this law? And I forgot the name of it right now. So, so I said, you know, we have a problem. And he says, what's that? I said, I imagine you want to see my driver's license and my insurance. Yep. I said, well, the, driver, the insurance card is in my glove compartment, and I really don't want to... All right, this is a, go back to the subject here. This is the uh, Game Changer by Razor Rock, stainless steel. Really a nice razor. It's like 60 bucks, really worth every penny. And I'm using the uh, King C. Gillette third use blade. And I don't even feel that blade on my skin. Would you believe that? So let me get back to my cop story. So I said, I imagine you want to see my... Uh, Insurance. And I said, well, there's a problem. I said, it's in my glove compartment. And I really don't want to reach for it because you have a gun and I don't. I said, and I just want everybody to be safe. He said, okay. How about your wallet? I said, oh, that's worse. <laughs> and he says, what's that? And I got my hands up in the steering wheel. I'm not going to put them down or move them at all. So I said, my wallet is behind the passenger seat with my gun and my badge. And he looked at me. Huh? I never heard this one before. So I said, uh, he didn't know what to say. So I said, you know, we can do this a couple of different ways. First of all, I want, you know, I am not going to get my wallet out for you. You can get it out. But the way we're going to do this, the best way, I'll step out of the car. You can frisk me and make sure I don't have any weapons on me. This is unbelievably smooth, the third pass. So, I said, and I'll stand in front of your car, and then you can go in my car and get my wallet. And he said, what's the second object? The second way we could do this is you could cuff me when I get out of the car. He said, well, we don't need to do that. So I said, these are the first option. So I stepped out of the car. He 
And he went in my car and he picked out my wallet. I said, you have a 45 Glock in there? I said, yeah, it's my favorite caliber. He said, you have a license to carry that? And I said, yeah, I got a couple, one from the state of Illinois as a detect, private tech detective. I'd nick myself there. And the other one had a concealed carry for Illinois. So I said, well, how long have you been doing this? I said, since 1998. And he said, wow. Yeah, too long, I should retire. He says, well, go have a seat in your car. I'll be right with you. So, he went back to his car, most likely ran me to see if had any warrants out on me and or any, other, anything else, which I didn't. I knew I didn't. And he comes back and he says, here's your license. He said, uh, just get out of here. So he gave me a pass on it. Otherwise, it would have been like $300. So I said, I have to admit something to you, officer. He said, what's that? I said, I, now, you have to understand, I was driving a Honda Fit. It's a four-cylinder car, and you probably could ride a bicycle faster. I said, so I told him, I said, you know, I was thinking about outrunning you. But I didn't want you to blow your engine, engine up chasing me. And he cracked up laughing. He said, get the hell out of here. So I drove away. So that worked out pretty good. The thing with uh, it's behind my seat with my gun and my badge. That made my day. Okay, second pass. See, I have to tell you a little story because otherwise this could get really boring. I a lot of stories. I'm 77. But you only guys are only allowed one story a day, and I almost cut myself here. I did a little bit. I nicked myself there a couple weeks ago. Same place. So I took my good camera with me today the uh, Sony A6400 and I was trying to adjust it to get the uh, date and the time printed out on the images. I couldn't find that damn thing. So I called Sony and they said it can't be done. I said, you tell me this thing makes, it'll make breakfast for you and you're telling me it can't put the date and the time on it. I said, I need that for court when I take a picture. It's got to, I have to be able to prove it. I said, nope. So I don't know if this guy was new about that camera or not, but I'm gonna follow it up. I gotta call somebody else. All right, second pass. That uh, soap is really slippery. I have no idea why I nicked myself. It's been a very smooth shave so far. When I get down this point, I don't know which way to move my mouth. Like this? Or make a face? Blow my cheeks out? I'll probably be called a racist because I'm using a white shaving cream. If I use a black shaving cream, I'd probably be alright. I don't know why I said that. It upsets me that it just happened here, but sometimes you can't help it. I took my drugs tonight about 20 minutes ago. One of them was Eloquis. It's a blood thinner. Maybe that's why. I have to remember to shave before I take my blood thinners.
good. All right. This will be the last uh, pass, the upstroke. I like using soap between each shave uh, pass. I always have, and some guys don't. They use water. That's okay. Whatever floats your boat. You know, I got some razors that are stainless steel machine, uh, CNC machined out, tight tolerances, and they're like 150 bucks. I have several different ones, but this is like sixty dollars, and I wonder how do they make any money on this thing? It's a beautiful razor. Open comb, very comfortable. All right, here we go. Feel the blade, not uncomfortable. Sometimes when you use a cream, it gets stuck in the little grooves in the back side of the razor and you get, it takes extra time to wash it out, but this doesn't seem to have that, present that problem. Nice. All right, one thing around the base of the neck, and then I'll wrap it up. If you use the soap, this razor or the razor blade, leave your comments below. I'd like to know what you guys think. All right. I still have a little left in here. See how I covered that up, just flicked it like that, so I didn't think you'd see it, but I, I'm sure you caught it. <laughs> oh. You guys don't miss anything. All right. Last pass. I'll give it the finger test now, just to clean up the little spot that I might have missed. The fingers are really sensitive as far as feeling any whiskers that are remaining. All right. Let me wash it out a little bit here, the razor. See what I mean? It cleans up real nice. Set that off to the side, and then I want to get my uh, washcloth here. Get some cold water on it.
you know, they're both slippery, these soaps. If I had to gauge one against the other, I'd say the menthol one was a little slipperier. All right, let me put a, one of these little septic pencils they send you when you uh, buy stuff from them. I necked myself there before. I don't know why. Let's get this off of here. There we go. Pretty nice. Boy, it does a nice, no complaints about any of the stuff I used to shave with today. Some Thayer's Witch Hazel. I'm going to use uh, cucumber today. And it does smell like cucumbers. God, I feel totally different. All right. Uh, shaving lotion. Sandalwood, my favorite, with... Uh, uh, with nothing, just sandalwood, aftershave lotion by the tailor of Old Bond Street. There you go. Good stuff, Maynard. That's nice about this DE shaving. There are so many different products you can use other than the regular cartridge razor. Oh, that was worth everything, That just putting that on. Wow. All right, now I'm going to use something I haven't used for a while. I'm going to use this uh, Neutrogena for men, triple protection face lotion. And it's got sunscreen, even though there's no sun out, I'm still going to use it. I've used this before, and uh, I like it. I'm not a lover of sunscreen, but I thought I might as well use it. It looks like that when you put it on. To put the moisture back in the skin, it's got a real nice totally different smell than the other smells that I put on my face just now. Oh, man. Yeah, I know. I got to paint this yet. <laughs> Don't remind me. Look at that shade. Isn't that nice? Look at that. For an old guy. G77. I think my wrinkles are going away from the, from the shaving creams I'm using. Oh, my God. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Well, I'm happy with it. All right, let's go back to the front. The Neutrogena, you're going to hold it upside down. No, we'll turn it right side up for you. Uh, triple protection face lotion. It's cool stuff, especially if you're going to be out in the sun. Then I use the Sandalwood by Old Taylor of Old Bond Street, one of my more favorite ones. Not my favorite, but a really good one. And then I used Witch Hazel, uh, Thayer's Witch Hazel. I've used it a lot of times with cucumber. And it smells like cucumbers, too. Uh, what else did I use? I used this uh, Frank Shaving Brush. This is uh, a Badger Brush. I think Frank Shaving's out of uh, Hong Kong, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, razor I used was the Game Changer by Razor Rock. It's a CNC machine razor. And I'm going to show you how difficult it is. You got to really be careful when you take the blade out. I'm going to take this off and set it off to the side. I'm going to take the top off. You know, the top comes off pretty easy. Now, maybe it'll come apart a little easier because I've used the blade before. And now I have to get the blade off of this, and it just... So you have to be kind of careful. See how it sticks? The tolerances are so tight that you really got to watch it. Otherwise, you're going to cut yourself. And at first I said, you know, I don't like that. I want it to come right out, but if you push it a little bit, now it comes out. But the tolerance is so tight, that means it's not going to move around on a razor. It's a big plus. All right. The uh, shaving cream I used was this Prazo. It's got sandalwood and shea butter. comes in a box. Shea butter. And I compared it to the, the menthol. Uh, eucalyptus oil and menthol. Frankly, between the two, I like this one as a personal preference a little better. Not because of the menthol. It's a little slipperier. But then... Don't forget, this is the third use of that blade. When I use this, I always use it in the second use. So, uh, let's cut to the quick. I'd say they're both about equal, as far as uh, my famous term of shaveability. And uh, that's just about does it, guys. I'm going to put some uh, links up in the corner, take a look at them. More about this razor. I really like that razor. For 60 bucks, you're not going to get anything better than that for $60. And uh, take a look at it. I really, you're, not, you're just not going to be disappointed. Anyway, 
Uh, I hope you all have some great shaves. Thank you very, very much if you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you so choose. If you don't like it, like my hat or anything else, give me a thumbs down. I'm not bleeding. How about that? So we'll catch you in the next shave. Thanks for stopping in. Have a great week. Take care. Don't get the virus. Bye.